Have you guys heard about this? An invasive species of beetle has spread here in parts of Ohio, and it's here close to home. It's called the Asian longhorn beetle and it caused damage to our wildlife, our plants. And apparently we're in the quarantine area here. Joining us live right now, the acting right now, program the director for the Asian longhorn beetle eradication program here in Ohio, Kyle Costello. Kyle, thanks for joining us here this morning. Thank you for having me. Hey, so uh, what threat does this uh, beetle pose to? Is it our trees? Is it the uh, plants we spent uh, buying all summer? Or is it more of a long-term thing like uh, forests? Well, I would say it affects mainly your trees and your forest. Uh, so the biggest threat for this uh, invasive insect is that it will infest healthy trees. That's what makes it an invasive pest. So uh, here in Ohio, it's mainly going after our maple trees, but can affect uh, 12 different genera. So what about the, the signs? I mean, I, I know like when you see some of those bagworms and things in trees, you see right away the damage they do and what they eat. What does this beetle do and how, how would we know if we saw one? So most of this uh, life form or the life cycle of this beetle is within the larval form. So most of the time when it's actually doing most of its damage is going to be uh, destructing the structural integrity of a tree, going into the heartwood and boring through that wood material. So our staff goes out and we do surveys for it. And the signs that we see are what we call galleries. That's where the larva feeds underneath the bark and causes damage to the vascular tissue, causing dark uh, bark dieback as well as branches falling. And when they do emerge, they create a perfect exit hole, almost like you had somebody come up with a drill and go into the tree, but it's the beetle drilling its way out. I saw your pictures there. It's about the size of a dime. That's actually a pretty big hole. You could be, you know, if you're taking a hike on a trail, you might see it right there, right? Hopefully not, but uh, <laughs> that's one of the big reasons we do have uh, health tree month or health tree check month uh, is uh, helping uh, each other find this damage out there. So if you ever see anything, we're very happy to come out, do inspections and let you know if that is something natural that's happening to the tree or if it is this invasive pest. So if we spot one of these, are they harmful to humans at all? Will they bite you or anything like that? They can bite, but uh, it should not be very harmful. It's not going to be something like a yellow jacket where it's going to sting you. It's just going to be uh, it biting you. Our suggestion is if you see one, catch it, throw it in the freezer, that will kill it and it will help with identification purposes. Very interesting. All right, so Kyle, how can people get in touch with you if they find one of these beetles, they trap one so you can study it? How do they get in touch with you guys? AsianLonghornBeetle.com. Uh, that's one of the easiest ways to find us. Uh, you can do an online report. Uh, either it's going to be near the infestation here in Claremont County, Ohio, even if it's throughout the Ohio, or throughout Ohio or different states, we will have staff that will respond to you, check on that insect or damage of the tree for you. Kyle Costello, appreciate you being on here and uh, good information, especially Claremont. You got a lot of wooded areas out there. Want to make sure folks keep their trees healthy and safe. All right, thank you so much.